Welcome to the fourth edition of Writing Out Loud. I'm Carrie Snurr. And I'm Tim Smith. Today is May 22nd and we're reporting to you from under the sea. <laughs> it was revealed Thursday that Osama bin Laden harbored doubts about his location in Pakistan months before the U.S. raid that caused his death. Bin Laden expressed frustration with his isolation in Pakistan in a letter. The letter was part of, is part of a set of documents that was released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. The documents released also revealed that bin Laden had many English language books at his compound in Abbottabad. The documents show that bin Laden had strong, had strong control of al-Qaeda even as he was hidden in Pakistan. The student government organization elected Lindsey Green as president for the coming year, effective immediately. She is joined by newly elected vice president Alex Schmidt. The board also welcomed two new members, Mike Dunn and Alex Morton, on Tuesday. The winners of the 2015 Outstanding Faculty and Mentor Awards have been announced. Congratulations to Dr. Jennifer Fritzkes and William Bergen for winning the Faculty Award and Kathy Mayen for winning the Mentor Award. Starting in the 2015 fall semester, Carroll Community College welcomes back the campus literary magazine Bittersweet after several semesters of failed attempts to revive the magazine. Student Claire Wink has decided to bring back the publication after hearing Dr. Jody Neuschultz mention the old magazine. Wink said she has great support from the writers at Carroll and is optimistic in the rejuvenation. Dr. Neuschultz will serve as the advisor for Bittersweet. It was revealed by internet users this week that Google Maps redirects users who search the N-word to the White House. Other searches took users, users to Howard University and the Capitol Building. It is speculated that user edits are what has caused the offensive words to be used as labels for the various sites. American Pharaoh won the 140th running of the Preakness, giving jockey Victor Espinosa an unprecedented third chance to win the Triple Crown. Belmont Stakes, the third jewel of the Triple Crown, will take place on June 6th. Chicago Blackhawks and Anaheim Ducks played in a three overtime periods on Tuesday. Blackhawks center Marcus Kruger ending the game after 116 minutes and 12 seconds of play. And the Ducks follow the loss of the win in regulation on Chicago's home ice. Anaheim leads the series two games to one. The Orioles won by a score of 5-4 to four after a two-hour rain delay in the middle of the game. They head to South Beach this weekend for a three-game set against the Marlins. They look to continue climbing the standings in the tightest division in baseball. And this week's Athlete of the Week this week is Tampa Bay Lightning forward Tyler Johnson, who leads the Stanley Cup playoffs with 12 goals and 18 total points. Four of those goals have come in two games against the Rangers this week, with a hat trick in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Lightning and Rangers face off again tonight, with the Lightning leading the series two games to one. On Wednesday night, David Letterman, host of The Late Show, signed off for the last time. Letterman hosted the show for 33 years and will be replaced by Stephen Colbert in September. Since Letterman's first show in 1982, The Late Show has been nominated for 73 Emmy Awards and has won nine. The show's finale featured Bill Murray, Tina Fey, Jerry Seinfeld, and Steve Martin. Rapper Flava Flav was arrested Thursday morning in Las Vegas after being stopped for speeding and police found marijuana in an open container of alcohol in his car. He, they also discovered that his license was suspended. He is also facing a felony charge of driving on a suspended license stemming from an incident in January of 2014. In this week's weird news story, a driver was pulled over in Washington State after someone called the police and reported that the driver had a tiger strapped to the roof of his car. Police let the driver go when it was discovered that the tiger was actually a large stuffed toy. That's all for this week's edition of Writing Out Loud. To stay updated on campus and community events, please visit thequill.org. I'm Carrie Snurr. And I'm Tim Smith, reminding you that you don't need a parachute to go skydiving. Only if you want to do it twice.